Hey guys, apologize the background noise, got a lot going on in the office today, but uh, had a textbook new bands trade. I talked about this yesterday. Higher time frame, 71 vertical ticks of average height per underlying new bars candlestick that puts out data to the drive bars that we are watching on the higher time frame. Got an excursion outside of the bands. As that happened, we had an excursion outside of the bands here on our lower time frame chart. And that's exactly what I target. That is a textbook new bands trade. Boom, right there. So I got in it, worked it. The market's been cycling. I've hit each higher pivot low. So I've literally been continuing to work uh, MNQ order flow in. Uh, and doing decent on the day, up about 1100 Like to get at least uh, up over 1200 today, then I'll probably shut it down. So going for some last targets. Uh, this was where we broke out over some previous uh, resistance. So that's where we broke out. Wouldn't be surprised to see it come down and test that area. Maybe before we get more uh, buying later day to press this market higher. So the market came up outside of the bands. I like the fact it, fact it peaked its head above recent pivot highs, stalling a bit. You know what? I'm going to blip out one more. Let's change this to when I want to lock this in. I'm sitting about 1,100. So if it whooshes down and fills that final one, I'm looking good. That's going to be it. If it cycles anymore, I'm not going to work in any more liquidity. I've accomplished the main objective of the trade. I would love to see this market come up and park itself somewhere in here going into Friday and then make a pump into the prior range. Uh, earnings are definitely better than expected. Midterms coming up and the sway back to the right, which hopefully will start curtailing unending highly dysfunctional government spending and related uh, should you know, give a shot in the arm so institutionals and large hedge funds can push their end of year rally so they can end the year with bonuses and uh, optimized return. So there you have it. New bands trade. Outside of the band here, I talked about yesterday, these are just wondrous setups. If we are, if you're outside of the bands on the higher time frame and you get a new bands setup where you get a reversal on the lower time frame, whether it's a four bar reversal, or in this case, we got a drive bar right there. Uh, I was in, I added to the trade, took some off, you know, went flat, came back up, added again, took some off, added again. So I've been, I've been cycling all these sequential lower pivot highs. Uh, so, so far so good. Uh, trying to get to, you know, 11 to 1200 on the day. I'll call it good on this account. Way, way, way up on this account. Need to do a withdrawal, get this down back to its starting point. And I don't like to leave lots of funds sitting with uh, uh, futures prop firms. I just think that's not a good thing. Now, obviously, you're with Apex or Elite Trader Funding or what do they call it? Bolinox. Some of them, they sit on some of your profits in the beginning have a, a bit of what I would call a restricted payout. Uh, I do trade with one of those prop firms. I have one master account and we talk out trades to nine others. It's a big account. All my other accounts that I trade are unrestricted where I, you know, payouts are completely unrestricted. So anyhow, there you have it. That was the new bands trade for today. Uh, we had a really, really good long side trade this morning too. We worked these in our main accounts right here. Got on the buy side. We added once. I thought we added twice. Maybe we only added once after the initial, but that baby ran hard uh, and uh, ended up being really good. We did not exit final runners. So we had this excursion outside of the bands and a four bar reversal. And then we bl actually, we blip out on a two bar reversal I'm sorry, three bar reversal. So a drive bar and then two hollows and the final hollow has to be of opposite color and then we exit out of those. So that was a hell of a nice move. 
to catch this morning on our on our big account that talks about trade activity to uh, uh, nine other accounts on trade copier so there you got it the new bands trade textbook setup today and a nice and easy got in it chopped around a bit had a decent push lower uh, kept cycling as we failed I, I stayed through this area we came down and then got another reversal and then i bailed on initial i got back in once got out got back in again that one i stayed in uh, pulled out somewhere as we're approaching here came all the way back up and chopping around when we got uh, this addition we had three four bar reversals in a row i finally got back in and here we go we're almost to final target so you know pretty decent day 11 36 i'll hit the close button just my typical practice to make sure there's no uh, additional orders or anything stray and uh, all looking good so there you got it the four bar reversal uh, up in here is where I put on another final trade and uh, that wraps it up for the day in this account so there you have it new bands trade if you have any questions let us know at info at n-e-u-a-l-g-o.com info at new Algo newelgo.com if you're looking how to jump on board get access to the new algo system for the ninja trader 8 platform do that through www.neualgo.com newelgo.com have a great day everybody